Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to do an entire in the hoop project using some embroiderable cork. So stick around to see how we do it. So exactly why are we doing an in the hoop project entirely? Because we don't sew. And this way we can have the embroidery machine do all of the stitches for us. So what are we going to make out of this cork? I think we'll make a gift card holder and we'll use this stitchable cork that is pretty thin and it has a little membrane on the back that will hold stitches in and we'll try and do a project with it. Get to designing? Let's go. Okay, so I'm in Inkscape and I'm in my 5x7 hoop template and I'm going to go to my square tool and make a box a little bit over 2x5 in width and 3.5 in length. Now I'm going to curve my edges by dragging down the little circle tool. Now I'm going to get rid of my fill color of my square. Now I'm going to turn my object to path by going to path, object to path. Now I will just delete a few of my nodes. I'm going to select the middle of these two nodes and then go to my delete node tool. Now I'm going to go to my Bezier tool to make a nice opening for my card holder where I can easily slide out the card. Now I'll refine what I did with my Bezier tool. So now I'm going to select both of my objects and then go to my fill in strokes tool and then change the width and turn my object to dash line. So now I'm going to go to my Layers tab and rename my Layer 1 to Pin Down Cork because this layer is going to be what pins down the cork. I'm going to add a layer, make it Layer 2, and this one's going to be Embroidering Cork. This is where I'm going to add text to just make it a little bit more personal. Now I'm going to go to shift Control l our Custom Lettering Shortcut, and I'm just going to pick a font and do our text. Now I'm going to adjust the size of my text and reposition it. I'm going back to my lettering tool to add more text. I'm also just going to change the color by going to shift and then select my desired color. I'm checking to make sure everything is on its right layer and one thing needs to be moved to layer 1. So I'm going to select it, right click, move to layer, and then select layer 1, move. Now I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to name it Layer 3 Pin Down Vinyl. Now I'm going to select the stitch that pins down my cork. And I'm going to do Command D to duplicate it. I'm going to right click, move to layer, and then select my layer. So now I'm on layer three, which is what we just duplicated our stitch on, and I'm going to my node tool to delete more nodes. Now I'm going to change my color by going to shift blues, just so it's easier to see when I bring up my layer again. So next I'm going to be making the flap um, that secures the card in 
that snaps to a button. So I'm going to go to my bezier tool, just to give it a nice shape. Now I'm going to go to the nerve tool to um, just refine it a little bit. So now I'm going to add a node by going to the add node tool. And there's a node there. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit more and then bring up the node I just made. This is just to give it a nicer shape. And then I'm going to refine it more. And that looks good to me. So I'm going to go to the fill and start tool and then make it a dashed line. So now I'm on my third layer and I'm going to duplicate my um, line and this is going to be a satin stitch. But first I need to make a new layer, name it layer four satin stitch. And then I'm going to select my duplicated line, right click, move to layer, select my layer, move. Now I'm going to go to my stroke style and change it to a satin stitch and then make it a lot thicker. So how this is going to stitch out is layer one, this will pin down our cork to the stabilizer. Then we'll move on to layer two, and this is going to embroider our text onto the cork. Then layer three, we'll put the vinyl behind the stabilizer and um, embroider this out. And then layer four, we'll embroider over our cork and vinyl to just give it a nice satin stitch. So this design looks good to me, so I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to rename it Card Holder. And I'm going to make it a zip file so I can save it as a PES and SVG. So the materials we're using for this card holder is embroiderable cork, marine vinyl, and tearaway stabilizer. Make sure we got it in the right area. Look center. So I 
kind of screwed this up. Should have cut this cork before we stitched this down. So I'm gonna hope if I can pull it up without ruining everything. Too bad. Yeah, it's able to unsnap and snap, and the gift card can come out pretty easy. Yep, it fits. So, Dad, what are some lessons we've learned? Well, we learned a few things. First of all, we learned that if you're going to do an entirely in the hoop project, to make sure you follow your own steps. For instance, we forgot to cut out our cork here on the front before we stitched out this shape on the back part of the tag basically closing in some cork here, which we didn't really want to do. Turned out okay still, but it would have been better if we cut that out initially. The second thing we learned was that cork is actually very easy to embroider. Uh, really didn't have to change any of the settings on our machine, just changed the needle to a 100 by 16 needle, which is a little bit heavier duty needle. And the last thing was on our black satin stitch edge, we used Sharpie to kind of cover up some of the edges that were poking through. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time I post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.